Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there's some horrendous news that is shocking, really, to me, of what's happening to Christians all around the world. And why is the media in America completely ignoring the Christian genocide? Have a cup of coffee this morning and just calm your nerves. And let me share with what's going on. A pastor has been murdered in Malaysia. And uh, I just pray for his family right now. I want to thank Troy of North Carolina for both of these reports. Seven men have been arrested in Malaysia over the death of a United States pastor. The Reverend David Gittner, age 62 who was a senior pastor of a 200-member Bridge International Church in Kuala Lumpur, there in Indonesia, or excuse me, in Malaysia, was found slain at his home on May the 4th. Now, the Associated Press is finally reporting, the officials say he was found tied up with a cloth and a cell phone charger cable around his neck. A report concluded that he died from asphyxiation. His wife, Cheryl, who was in Australia at the time, had asked for a neighbor to check up on him after she was unable to reach him. A previous Associated Press story noted that police have been investigating his death as a homicide, but have not released any motive yet for his murder. Few details have been released on the arrested men so far, but police believe a few of them personally knew Pastor Gittner. Now, Reverend Gittner's car, which had also been missing, has been found. So again, we have this uh, pastor being murdered in Malaysia. But this isn't the only situation developing, uh, folks. There's a report by the Christian Post. And again, I want to thank Troy of North Carolina for fine uh, research here. But shocking information has been released by the Vatican. The Vatican, and of course the Catholic Church, would have a good handle on what's happening to Christians around the world, since there's Catholic churches just about in every, well, I know they're in every nation of the world, and, and, and basically uh, some of them may be underground in some of your communistic nations, or even in some of your really strong radical Islamic nations, but Catholic churches are all over the globe, and there are bishops and priests and cardinals all over the globe, and they've got a handle on it. Now get this, a, a report released by the Vatican. Shocking, but they are reporting that an estimated 100,000 Christians are killed every year around the world. Now, that's Catholic and Protestants. There is around 100,000 Christians that are murdered every year around the world. A top Vatican official has released this shocking report to the United Nations, estimating over 100,000 Christians are killed every year for reasons relating to their faith. So they're martyrs, just like, no doubt, Reverend Gittner is. That nobody, they didn't steal anything, nobody robbed, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a break in, it was an assassination of an American pastor because he was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in Malaysia. And I can tell you, being in India back in 1997, holding a crusade in the jungle uh, there in Orissa, India, that when I finished my first sermon, 3,000 people came in the middle of a jungle under a tent, and they all walked there because they came from different villages throughout the jungle to hear this American preacher from Indiana that they didn't even know. They just heard there was a, a man of God speaking. They brought their sick. They're wounded. They brought their, their babies. They brought uh, elderly people on cots for prayer. And many of them were Hindu. And they needed a miracle. They needed to hear the words of truth. Maybe there was something this preacher could tell us or something he could do. And hundreds were saved. But I can tell you, right after my first sermon there, four Hindu policemen came up and stuck an M16 underneath my chin and began to and took my Bible, took my passport, took my wallet, and were threatening to arrest me. My crime: preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in an open door meeting without permit from the government. This is called proselyting. Even though I was in the middle of the jungle, 
Well, I was finally released by them because the pastors there had to pay them the bribe. They paid them enough rupees and offered them goat stew that we had for dinner to let Pastor Begley go. Thank God for that. Well, anyway, here's your situation. So when you're saying that 100,000 Christians are being killed, you have to understand, we know what's happening in Nigeria. We know it's in Uganda, Rwanda, all parts of, uh, uh, here you go, Malaysia. Um, Christians are being uh, murdered in Pakistan. They're being murdered in India. They're being murdered in uh, Saudi Arabia. They're being murdered in Iran. They're being murdered in Afghanistan and Iraq. They're being literally murdered around the world, folks. China, North Korea. It just goes on and on. I can't even, it's just incredible what's happening. And it's, yet it is not being reported. It's a genocide against Christians. And it's not just by Muslims now. A lot of it is radical Islamic Muslims, but some of it is radical Hindus uh, that are doing it, as well as other atheist groups. So murder and mayhem, but Jesus said this would happen. Can I share with you a scripture? I, was, I just uh, feel like I should grab the Bible here and read it. So I'm going to go to Matthew 24 because everybody seems to know the signs of the end. But, but one of the signs is the persecution of the church. Despite some teachings that Christians will never suffer a hangnail, you need to understand. And that's a lot of that is just padded pew doctrine of America. The truth is Christians are being butchered and murdered and maimed all over the world. And Jesus said it would be so. If you read your Bible, Matthew 24, Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives where I was at last week, actually. And I thought about it again when I was up on the Mount of Olives, how that they came to him privately in verse 3. And they said, tell us, when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all these are the beginning, the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Then shall they be delivered. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. We're living in the last days. And I, and I could continue reading. There's, more, there's even more signs. But I want you to know that one of the signs are not just the earthquakes and the tornadoes and the hurricanes, not just the pestilence and diseases and the signs and the solar flares in the sun and the moon and the stars and the comet ice and, and, and all and the sounds of the apocalypse being heard in the heavens. All of these of which are signs. But there's a sign also. It's called the persecution of the body of Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ because we are living in the absolute last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We celebrated yesterday five people saved on our live radio show. Don't miss today's show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard, Eastern Daylight Time at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on Blog Talk Radio, or if you just want to listen to the first two hours on your cell phone, dial this number, 347-324-5208, right at 12 noon Eastern, and listen to the show. God bless you. Give your life to Jesus Christ.